43 women around the world gave birth. None of these women had been pregnant when the day first began. I have adopted six such children, gifted with abilities. I give you the Umbrella Academy. Earth, America, Indiana, Hawkins. A growing patriotic community and a shining example of the American dream. Today, Hawkins is taking another step into the future. Okay, honestly, I'm a huge fan of Netflix. I'm not impressed of the prices going up very soon. Did you guys hear about that? I'm such a big fan of all of the Netflix original content, and I literally can't wait to see what else they have in store for us next. Well, how's it going, you guys? I'm your host for this one, Landon Delitzing, and welcome back to another most amazing top 10 video. So Netflix is killing the streaming game with all of their original content. Fortunately for subscribers to Netflix, we can expect a lot of hot new shows that they're gonna be releasing this year. So sit back kick your feet up because this is the top 10 Netflix shows you guys need to watch in 2019. So let's get this list started in at number 10 with Stranger Things a season 3. It's happening. Guys I'm so hyped for season 3 right now. I literally can't wait. I cannot contain myself. Netflix released a teaser so you know what instead of talking about it let me just show you guys. Earth America. Indiana Hawkins a growing patriotic community and a shining example of the American dream. Today, Hawkins is taking another step into the future with the brand new Star Court Mall. Okay, so when is this going to be released and how many episodes do we need to binge on? Well, Netflix hasn't released an official date yet, but based on the trailer, we can expect season three to be released by probably the end of summer and there's gonna be around eight episodes. Pretty short, but at least it's something. The third season is set in the mid 1980s and it should have a back to the future kind of vibe to it. Who else wants to bet that this new mall is built on top of an old lab? And you know what, we actually have an update right now. This is the information at the time I scripted this video, but right now I just took out my phone and I searched and Stranger Things 3 is going to arrive July 4th. My childhood is making a comeback in at number nine with Carmen San Diego. Does anyone else remember watching this show or playing this game on PC? It is such a classic and Netflix has signed on to give this 80s show a reboot. The animated show will be premiered on January 18th and Gina Rodriguez from Jane the Virgin will be doing the voice of Carmen. Carmen San Diego is incredible. Netflix is doing a phenomenal job. It is still geared towards children, which is very cool. Yeah. Still very educational, but very, very fun. So even though the show is geared towards kids, I'll probably go on a few adventures with Carmen San Diego, or I'll break out my old game and play a couple rounds on the PC. Next up, number eight, we're talking about the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. Do you guys remember watching The Dark Crystal? It was a movie that came out in 1982 and it's about another planet whose crystal broke so in order to restore order to this world, they have to go on a quest to find the missing shard of the crystal. I know it sounds confusing, but it was actually pretty awesome. So the show will be a prequel to the film. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, I would highly recommend watching that first. This series will be 10 episodes and I love that they're using puppets instead of CGI. So it'll give you the same feeling as the original movie. October Faction, brings us into number seven. This year, Netflix will be bringing us some of our favorite comic books to life. October Faction will be a 10 episode series that follows the lives of two monster hunters, Fred and Dolores Allen. We follow them back to their hometown where they must hide their identities as members of the secret organization, but they quickly discovered that their hometown wasn't as safe as it used to be. So basically, if you enjoy monster killing and secret societies, then this TV series is for you. The Central Park Five breaks on so this list at number six. You guys know how much I love true crime documentaries. I'm reading so many true crime books right now. So I'm super excited for this release. The Central Park Five, it's based on a true story about five teenagers of color who were convicted of a rape that they did not commit. We're arrested at 96th Street. All between 14 and 15 years of age. They got him! You can only imagine the pressure to have this crime solved and solved quickly. First, we was all together, then they started to put us in different rooms separately. 
I'm not gonna give you guys too many spoilers, so we're just gonna have to wait and see until this four episode series comes out later on this year. But in the meantime, if you guys are dying to watch a really good true crime documentary, then you guys should check out the true crime documentary video that we made. You guys can click right over here or I'll put the video link in the description below. And now in at number five, we have Orange is the New Black season seven. I mean, I remember when the first season came out and now we're seven years later. This is the exact same thing that happened to me with like the Big Bang Theory. What season are we on now? And it just went so fast. All right, I'm actually curious to see what season Big Bang Theory is on and season 12? I've been watching this for 12 years. Okay, well, I actually haven't watched the last few years, but still, it's been going on for a very long time. Just like Survivor, it's what, 30 seasons? That's like 15 years. So Netflix has confirmed that this will be the last and final season of their hit show. So it will be coming to an end this year. I've read that most of the original cast will appear in season seven. So regardless of what happened in the finale of season six, don't worry, I won't spoil anything for you guys, just for you guys who haven't caught up yet. Just know that Orange is the New Black is set to be released sometime in July of this year and hopefully it won't be delayed like season six was because we need to find out how this show ends. Hey y'all, we got some news. The final season is coming. The final season of Orange. The last season! Season seven, it is the end. And I'm gonna miss playing and living on the edge of one of the most groundbreaking, original, and controversial series of this decade. Russian Doll climbs onto this list at number four. The television series is set to premiere on Netflix on February 1st, 2019. So pretty damn soon. And it's about a young girl named Nadia who can't seem to escape a party one night in New York City. It's kind of giving me Groundhog Day or maybe Happy Death Day. I don't know about you guys, but I actually enjoyed that movie and there's another one coming out. Well, it kind of gives me, you know, those kind of vibes. But let me show you guys a little bit of the teaser. Natasha Leon, who played a Nikki on Orange is the New Black, will be starring in this new series, and it was actually written by her, Amy Poehler and Leslie Headland, so I bet it's gonna be pretty damn funny. Umbrella Academy brings us to number three. This series is about 47 children who were spontaneously born by women who showed no signs of pregnancy. A millionaire adopted seven of these children, and he said he adopted them in order to save the world. 43 women around the world gave birth. None of these women had been pregnant when the day first began. I have adopted six such children, gifted with abilities. I give you the Umbrella Academy. This series is an adaptation of the comic book series and it is set to be premiered on February 15th of this year. 13 Reasons Why Season 3 fights its way onto this list at number 2. This series actually took the internet by storm when it was first released in 2017. Well get ready because Season 3 doesn't have an official release date yet, but we can expect to see it as early as May, my birthday month. And as we all know, Season 2 ended with a huge cliffhanger with Clay holding a gun as police sirens are quickly approaching. So we will finally see See, you know, what happened. Now, in at number one, we have Our Planet. I'm actually super excited for this one. Our Planet will be an eight part documentary narrated by none other than David Attenborough, but it was filmed over four years and in 50 different countries. So you know it's gonna be pretty damn epic. Mark this day on your calendar because it's set for Friday, April the 5th. Well, there you guys have it. You made it to the end of this video. I just want to say thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys all in the next video.